السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب فیملی اینڈ آلسو ویلکم ٹو فلٹر ٹیٹوریل سیریز سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ ایف ایف ایم پیک ٹیٹوریل اینڈ آئی ول ٹیل یو ہاؤ یو کین کریٹ اے ویڈیو فرام سنگل امیج اینڈ ہاؤ یو کین کریٹ اے ویڈیو فرام ملٹیپل امیجز after that how you can extract an audio from the video and how you can compress video and how you can add a text on the image or on the video so all these we have done in ff impact tutorial series now in this video i will show you how you can create a grid view in flutter okay so before starting first of all I will show you the output of today's video. So here is our app and you will see this type of layout. so i want to adjust some brightness to show you clear image so you will see this type of view we have going to create in today's video this is the grid view and i set these tabs to so that's why we will see here two tabs sorry two cards and you will see i create this type of app bar create this type of section and make this grid view scrollable and then i make this card and then put the image so let's start this code before starting you will see this playlist tab i create a lot of videos related to android language with java flutter python tutorial also i make some videos on php c++ and much more you can get the code and video to understand the topic Okay now start understanding this code So the code starts from here and you will see this is the by default code when you whenever you create a new project i first create a list view and store all the videos inside this list view uh first of all you have to download the videos from the google and then you have to copy all that video all that images and paste inside your assets folder and then you have to give the path of your images in your pubs file so you will see you have two ways to give the path of images the first way is you have to write this asset and the image name and the alternative way is you just write the assets and write the slash here in this way you don't need to put the path of all image okay that simply means if you remove all this and just write this asset slash it takes all the images inside your asset folder okay then you don't need to write the path of each image okay so i just write assets slash here and now just 
move to the code. So <clears throat> here I create a list which is list item and store one to nine images inside this list with their extension. After that, I create this app bar. First, this icon, then this text which is home, and then this icon. Okay, so for this icon, when you put the images inside this file. Then this type of dependency will show you have to click on dependency. Okay. So, first I create this app bar and then make the app bar transparent, which removes the color, which is by default. And after that, I give this icon, write the text here, home, and then you will see I make a container and give the color black and give this text zero and if you will see this is the black background with this zero icon. So this is the code for this app bar and after that we create an other container and put this image then create a, a column which shows this text and button in a column so inside this container we create a column and then give this text and this button okay so now start the code for this whole domain So here is the container. First of all, give the uh, give the some padding to all sides, which is twenty, and you will see here from all sides it gives some padding, which is twenty. Okay. So this is the padding for this, and after that you will see we create. And other container. First of all, this container, and then inside an other container, give some height and width. Then you will see. I make this corners circular, and set it twenty to curve this these all corners. Then put the image here, and. Put the image and use this box with dot cover which fits that image inside the whole container. Okay, now it's turn to this code. And now you will see I made this container. Circular with some opacity, and after that, create this column. So, here is the column, and inside this column, you will see I create this text and this container. And uh, set the color of this text white font size, and you will see the font weight. After that, give some space between this text and this button, which is 30. 
you will see we have give the space between these two then create this button and make these corner curves using this circular turn and after that some give the color of this button white then write this text which is shop now set some styling for this text and set the color of text black and then we give some space size box height 30 which give the space of this button to this content okay now we create this type of grid view first of all we set this height 20 which is used to give the height some spacing from this grid view to this content and after that i write this grid view dot com which is used to make this grid view and we put two children's or two cards here so that's why i write this two here so we want to give the space between two grids and also between two grids so i want to give 10 space between these two grids which is in row so if you want to give the padding between two uh, cards in row you have to set the cross axis spacing and if you want to give the space between these two which are in column then you have to set this main axis 10 okay you will change according to your requirement after that you will see we create this card and then put the image so that's why i write this card and use this card class here makes this card transparent and i use this elevation zero which removes its background color okay otherwise if you don't use it you will see here a black square box around all four corners and then you will see I make these corners curve and you will see I use this class which is border radius dot circular set to 20 if you want to make more curve then you can increase this value and then you will see we pass this list view here which is the list view we create earlier and we have all these images inside this list view so that's why we put this list view here and after that you will see we have this icon here and for this icon we could we use this transform the translate class because basically this class is used whenever you want to set some icon or some uh, set some item uh, in x or y axis so i i want to set this in x and y coordinates so that i use this class it provide us this offset attribute to set the image here okay so i use this 50 and minus 50 to set this image you can change according to your requirement and then i put this background white by by using this box decoration and then put this icon inside this card by using this icon class and in the last we write this to list 
to make the list okay so now just run this code and you will see you will see the app is restarted and you will see this type of code and if we change this to plus 50 and then you will see I restart this code the app is restarted and you will see this icon moves here so if you want to put this icon here you have to write this minus sign which change its location and you can make the changes according to your requirement so this is the whole code for the grid view and I will provide you the link of this code in the description box and if you like this video please like my video and write a comment of any topic which you want to make the video inshallah see you soon Allah Hafiz.